All right, and that sound good. Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. Ha ha ha. something important. Okay. Isn't that was just to get up to there? If that was the right way to do that, but we did it. Uh, you're here for a moment. What our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire, not Meridian the spire now why would that be the spire was created by gaia which part of gaia M minerva it's code breaking module gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the pharaoh robots shut down their biomatter conversion systems hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end, an army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again, unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the Jew. 
So you thought it was a Titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it. Until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora Mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. Hmm. Oh, I care. You've done terrible things, Silence. But you've also done what you could to undo them. I can't say you've balanced the scale, but at least you've tried. To be clear, Aloy, I would do it all again. A few more safeguards, perhaps. But basically the same. Really? 
So much for learning from mistakes. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. What a nice. the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Derval, I know he'll defend the city. But the Spire... There it Do I have to step further out? Is it on a quick way down? For a quick travel. Yeah. All right. Uh... All right. Do you know what's a Noracol machine? Metal. She's running by. I'll try to smoke a merchant here. Howdy, howdy. All right. What did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good. But a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the Old Ones like many in your tribe? No, although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the Old Ones? They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. Yes, yes, trade quickly. I have work to do. Yeah. Uh, farewell. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. Perhaps your travels do have taken you through ancient ruins. Let us version. speak of it. That's better. These are ooh. Uh, thank you for that. It's good. Uh, 
get it. I gotta do some modifications. I think we got skills, so that means I can get that. See what we're up against for popping the last one there. Maybe you shouldn't freeze in a way before. That'll leave. I don't know if I need handling or. to what we were doing. Sun King have things to say. Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades, and it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire, and if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now. It will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, 
Tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Have you spoken to Blameless Murad? Not yet, but I will. He wishes to speak to you. Defensive preparations are his responsibility. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses in that spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parlay with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. All right, let's go check out the stuff. I have a matter of grace Who and beauty I would like to discuss with you. Damn him the... and the Karja in shadow. Oh, he just over here. Okay. Don't let them take the city without a fight. Okay, we'll ignore that one for now. The enemy is coming. I have to go back and forth. Oh, it's these guys. Meridian won't fall. The sun set us here because we knew we'd be. Oh boy, elevators. My favorite. See what our preparations are doing. Probably will be subpar when the event actually goes down. Like fire some kind of like laser tag, kill everyone, and be off. Have you just look polished that armor? Who's it? Aloy. I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. 
I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. I'll wager Aaron yeah, no is behind the ball's extradition. Osaram stick together after all. Always stay bright. Always stay alert. That's what I say. Sir. Anyone else to chat with here? Had to take over my brother's shift today. I sure have nothing as the to sun's rising, he's off courting that noble girl. Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise in a better world. So you must be Aloy, then. I thought there'd be more of you. More of me. Thicker, I suppose. More of a gear wheel, less of a ringlet. Don't get me wrong, you're very well struck. Do all Osirim flirt at the most inopportune times? Inopportune? Battle hasn't even started yet. Petra Forge Woman, I hail from the Free Heap. I'll be heading back in the next dust storm. Murad asked me to check over the city arsenal first. Cannons have aged well, but I've cleared their throats so they can really roar. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it, then. Hello, Seedmoot. You think you'll kill in the battle, Why, the city guard as many as I have to. Amazing. I love it when you say things like that. It's so <clears throat> That's a weapon I'd want. They silly bows. Now. Let's 
see these people, and then we'll go die to Hades repeatedly over and over. The eclipse. What does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. It used to be called Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. That's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit them like a hammer till they can't, can't hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the Vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. <laughs> <laughs> 